and they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do in the half, which is Let's go. Let's go. go. They ain't catching me. Yeah. Ten. Touchdown. Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the official Fire Team base review of Madden 2018 or 18, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna call it. Let's start you guys off here. The menu has changed just a little bit. You still use the right bumper and left bumper to navigate through. Um, if you click down on the right stick, it brings up the music menu settings for the social feeds and notifications for you. Now, hitting right to it, Ultimate Team has changed a little bit this year. Now you can go 3v3 co-op. It's pretty nice. One person will um, control the offensive coordinator. One person will control the defensive coordinator. And the third player will control the head coaching position, which is pretty nice. So this is just a pack I opened up that I had lying around. Here's that, and this is what this uh, menu looks like here. I got a chance to play it a little bit. Pretty good. It's fun. Your team is really bad to start off with, and you have to get better by getting better players. We also have a new long shot story. Well, the first of its kind, that is. It's a story mode that follows this kid um, that dropped out of college, Devin Wade. He went to Texas. It's very fun. I don't want to spoil it for you, but there are three different endings. Only 3% of the people who play the game the first time will get a special ending, which is really nice, I thought. So I did like the story. They did a good job on that. Franchise has stayed the same for the most part, still pretty good. I would really recommend playing the skills trainer, especially if you're new to Madden or a casual Madden gamer. The skills trainer will show you a lot of stuff that you won't learn otherwise. Going over to the settings, there are three new styles of play to choose from this year. I'll go over them real quick for you. Over the top action filled with spectacular plays, lots of scoring, and limited penalties. Then you have simulation, which is what I like to play on because it's true to the team in the player red, uh, ratings with authentic NFL rules and gameplay. And then you have competitive, which is how fast can you tap the stick one way and hopefully not fall over. I'm not a big fan of this um, game style to me. It's just who can do this the fastest. Yeah, that's me pressing the right stick. I don't like that at all, man. To me, it takes away from the game and the dynamics in itself. Unreal. It brings a lot of unrealism into Madden. I know Madden isn't the most realistic um, sports game there is, but that doesn't help out its case at all. So based on the experiences that I've had playing this game and the different game modes, I'll give it an 8.75 out of 10. It's great. I would have given it a 9, but there are just a few things that I, I really wasn't too pleased with, like the game styles there. But, you know, we can't all get our way there. Also, EA Sports, if you're listening, please bring back 3v3. I'm talking about the original 3v3 where you can choose the real teams and play with your friends. That I don't understand why you guys got rid of it. It was a big mistake in my, in my eyes. I feel like if you had that back, you'd have a lot more um, people buying the game again. So that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to leave you guys with some quick highlights on some of my games that I've played to check out. So enjoy yourselves. Thanks again for tuning in to Fireteam Base. Please subscribe and like our video. Check us out on Twitch. I'll leave our uh, hand, Twitter handle and Facebook group and all that good stuff in the description below. So thanks again for tuning in. Peace out. Slag Spin! Look at the spin!